30 amazing Minecraft mods, Ender Pack, Guard Villagers, Connectable Chains and many more in today's video. Explorify enhances exploration in Minecraft by adding new structures to discover. Mausoleums, watchtowers, taverns and campsites are just a few examples of what Explorify introduces. It also adds new buildings in the nether and the end. These structures seamlessly blend with the vanilla Minecraft aesthetics, providing fresh and exciting places to explore throughout your gameplay. Splinecart improves minecart tracks by adding smooth curves and slopes, making your minecart rides more enjoyable and visually appealing. It adds a new type of rail block that can be used to create smooth railways or roller coasters. Riding a minecart sideways or upside down is not a problem for this mod. Real Camera is a mod that brings a whole new level of realism to your first-person view in Minecraft. This mod lets you bind the camera to a specific part of your character's body, making your gameplay more immersive. You can fully customize the position and rotation of the camera to suit your preferences, and even see your player model from a first-person perspective. Ethereal Islands adds a completely new world generation system to Minecraft, featuring thousands of floating islands, ranging from small to large ones where you can find caves, floating oceans and villages. It's the perfect environment for building an epic new structure or taking on the game in a whole new way. Axiom is an all-in-one Minecraft editing tool. It provides real-time previews and client-side rendering for improved building performance. In Builder mode, you can enhance creative mode with a context menu, hotbar swapper, building capabilities such as infinite reach or fast place, and adjustable flight speed. Editor mode offers tools for world manipulation, painting, terraforming, and sculpting. With advanced selection and drawing tools, you can easily modify your world. Chipped is a building mod that expands a variety of blocks you can use in-game. The mod offers more than 10,000 unique building blocks, from stained glass variations all the way to concrete, carpets and lamps. All the textures are handmade in the vanilla style and they also include many connected textures. Getting started with Chipped is simple. Just craft one of the 7 specialized tables that lets you transform vanilla blocks into their chipped variants. Each table has a unique appearance but functions the same way. Simply bring your block to the table and you will gain access to all its variants. Connectable Chains is a simple mod that allows you to decorate your buildings by connecting walls or fences with chains. It allows you to connect chains in any direction, making them more versatile for both decorative and functional purposes. The effect is truly fantastic, enabling you to create beautiful paths or unique fences around your structures. It fits perfectly with the vanilla Minecraft style. I'm sure you've watched at least one Minecraft 100 days video. The day counter mod adds a day counter to the game, allowing you to track the current in-game day just like in those videos. It's a perfect addition if you want to challenge yourself with a 100 day challenge. Right Click Harvest is a simple yet incredibly convenient mod that allows you to harvest and replant crops with just a right click. Improve the farming process, make it more efficient and enjoyable. It also has a configuration that allows for harvesting crops in larger radius or requiring how to function. Antique Atlas 4 is hand-drawn client-side world map for Minecraft showing biomes, structures and waypoints. Press M to bring up the map, drag to pan, scroll to zoom and use bookmarks to manage waypoints. Structures only appear after you've visited them and waypoints are automatically added to notable structures, player graves and nether portals. Map exploration can be shared with other players using a simple command. Antique Atlas is designed to feel like an explorer's journal, focusing on in-game exploration rather than relying on a minimap. Trowel is a handy building tool that lets you place random blocks from your hotbar with ease, perfect for creating natural looking paths, walls and other structures. This mod simplifies the building process, especially when working on projects that require a lot of block variety, making it easy to add a more natural and detailed look to your builds. Better Statistics screen takes the vanilla statistics screen and transforms it into a more informative and user-friendly interface. You can now easily track your gameplay stats from blocks mined to distances traveled and mobs defeated. The detailed breakdown helps you analyze your playstyle and achievements. It's particularly useful for long-term players who want to see how their gameplay evolves over time. It is a great addition for anyone who loves data and want to keep a closer eye on their Minecraft journey. Bombastic adds a party poppers, confetti cannons, firecrackers and pipe bombs to the game, along with a few cosmetics items. Additionally, you get a ball that you can use to play with nearby animals. Yeah. Now parties in Minecraft won't be limited to just fireworks. Ducklink adds ducks in two different appearances, which can be found in river biomes. There are also quacklings, which are fisherman ducks you can trade with, and they can be found around swamps. While this mod doesn't add a lot of new features, the ducks perfectly fill the space on the water's surface, bringing more life to your Minecraft world. 
placing and then breaking an ender chest can be a bit inconvenient. Ender Pack is here to help. This mod allows you to craft an ender backpack that functions just like an ender chest. You can wear and use it while it's on your back, or place it on the ground and pick it up without needing a silk touch pickaxe. Besides making life easier, it also adds a decorative touch to your character. Distant Horizons has recently exploded in popularity, offering an incredible view distance without a significant performance drop. A view distance of 128 chunks is no problem. It fully supports shaders and allows you to explore your world in ways you've never seen before. From my own experience, I can tell you that videos don't fully capture the effect this mod provides, so I highly recommend installing it and testing it out with mods like Terralif or Tectonic. You can find an installation guide on my channel. Guard Villagers adds armed villagers who protect their homes from threats like zombies and pillagers. These guards bring a new level of safety and realism to your villages, making them more dynamic and realistic. No longer will your villagers be defenseless against raids, now they can fight back and keep their community safe. Guard Villagers also adds new interactions and behaviors such as the ability for villagers to follow us or to equip them with diamond or even netherite gear. Hexlands generates your world in a unique hexagonal pattern, giving a fresh look to your landscapes. This mod changes the way you explore and build, providing a new twist on the classic Minecraft terrain. You can also configure it to generate the world according to your specifications, for example change hex size or biome scale. These rocks brings a touch of natural charm to your Minecraft world by adding a variety of new small elements. You'll find little rocks, sticks, pine cones, seashells, starfish and geysers scattered throughout your terrain, making the environment feel more organic and immersive. Geysers add an interactive element to your world. They will propel your upwards when you get close, offering a boost in height. In contrast, nether geysers will burn you, adding a dangerous twist to their functionality. This rocks is perfect for adding a bit of variety and realism to your Minecraft adventures. Falling tree is a handy mod that makes tree chopping more efficient. When you cut down a tree, the entire thing falls, making wood gathering faster and more satisfying. No more dealing with floating logs or awkwardly placed branches. Just chop and collect. This mod is perfect for players who want to save a lot of time when gathering resources. It simplifies the process and makes it more enjoyable, letting you focus on building and crafting. Jump over fences is a small but incredibly useful mod that allows you to easily jump over fences without the need for gates or carpets. It's a simple quality of life improvement that makes navigating around your farm or base much smoother. No more opening and closing gates or getting stuck on fences. Just jump and go. Feeding trough is a great mod for animal farmers, adding feeding froths that automatically feed your animals. This makes farm management much easier and more efficient. Simply fill them with food and your livestock will eat as needed. It's perfect for large farms where manual feeding can be time consuming. Just be careful to not overcrowd your world with too many animals. Stack to nearby chest is a time-saving mod that lets you quickly transfer items from your inventory to nearby chests. Organize your storage with ease and keep your inventory clutter-free with just a few clicks. This mod is incredibly useful for large-scale builders and resource gatherers who need efficient ways to manage their items. Universal Graves adds a gravestone system to Minecraft, ensuring you never lose your items upon death. When you die, a grave is created with all your belongings safely stored. It displays information about the player and over time the grave will change its appearance. You can return to the location of your death and retrieve all your items. Definitely a better alternative to the game rule keep inventory true. Tool Trims lets you customize your weapons and tools with stylish trims, just like you can with armor. Using a toolsmithing table, you can apply one of four trim styles – linear, tracks, charge or frost – to 33 different items, creating over 1200 unique combinations. You can find trim templates in various structures – linear in trial ruins, tracks in pillager outposts, charge in ancient cities and frost in igloos. Customize your gear with 10 different materials including amethyst, gold, diamond and more. Smooth scrolling improves the scrolling mechanics in Minecraft menus, making them more fluid and responsive. It enhances the overall user experience, especially for players who spend a lot of time in creative mode. Just smooth, seamless scrolling. More chest variants add chest variants for all types of wood in Minecraft. This makes it easier to match chests with the buildings that you are constructing and adds a touch of variety to your interiors. Additionally, chests made from nether wood are resistant to fire and lava. 
Vein mining makes resource gathering more efficient by allowing you to mine entire veins of ore with a single swing. It's a great alternative to the mods that add this feature without requiring an enchantment on the tool, fitting more seamlessly into vanilla Minecraft. Vein mining enhances your productivity and makes resource collection more enjoyable and less tedious. Utility Belt is a mod that adds an extra hotbar for your most frequently used tools. It allows you to quickly switch between the toolbar and your main hotbar by using the B or N key. Transferring items between them is very simple, giving you 4 extra slots for things like building materials or food. Finally, we have Waystones. This mod adds craftable Waystones that act as a fast travel points within your world. Set up a network of Waystones to quickly travel between key locations, making large worlds more accessible. This mod is perfect for survival mode, adventure maps or multiplayer servers as an alternative to warp and home commands. And that's it for today's mod showcase, I hope you found some new favorites to try out in your Minecraft 1.21 adventures. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more Minecraft content. See you next time!